What's up guys, we are back with another tips and trick videos. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some tips that you may or may not know uh, for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And let's go ahead and just dive in here. All right, so the first one, I believe this is a fairly new tip and I think this is only for when you at 5.1. Uh, not all of these are gonna be for 5.1, but I believe this one is. So this one is for if you wanna lock a certain folder in your Samsung's gallery. So as you can see here, if I click on uh, the folder here and then you I go to more you can see now I have lock album so now this album is completely locked it needs a pin uh, to be able to get in so I'm going to show you how to actually do this uh, so you're going to click on these three right here those three lines and then you're going to go to settings and then what you're going to do is scroll all the way down to about gallery you're going to click on the version number I believe like I think 11 times and then you'll see it pop up then you have galaxy uh, gallery labs and then you will see album lock entry turn that on and now every time you want to like say lock this one you just click on more and then we lock this one as well too so you can see my screenshots are open but this one closed it needs a password so it's a really really good uh, way to keep you know certain files secured all right, so here's a cool tip to set up multiple fingerprints and we can also use someone else's uh, fingerprints on this phone. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we'll go to security and then we, we'll set up, I took my lock screen and fingerprints off, but we're gonna go to lock screen, fingerprints, and then we're gonna set it up. Uh, we're gonna just put a password in here real quick. All right, so when you register it, you're gonna scan one finger up to 50%. So 47, then we're gonna do the other finger. All right, so now I can use, as you can see, both. And then it leaves a profile, basically. Uh, it leaves a profile, basically, so someone else can set up another fingerprint, uh, which is pretty cool. So your kids or wife or uh, someone can actually come in here and add another profile, uh, which is really nice. So it's just a, a cool little way of setting up multiple fingerprints. I always do this just when you set your phone up because you know sometimes you don't lock with this thumb or this one. So it's just a really good tip, a really good habit to form. All right, so this next one is a pretty cool one. So if you guys ever have an application where you can't force pop-up view or split screen, so I'll give you an example. Like if we go to Instagram here, uh, you can see we have open split screen and pop-up view but we don't have it for Netflix. So I'm gonna show you how to actually enable that. So we're gonna go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way down, advanced features, labs, and then we're gonna turn multi-window for all applications. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on, and then I just like to exit out of all applications and then pop it up, because sometimes it takes a second to register. But now you can see, now we have it pop-up view now. So we have that uh, on here that we can use in pop-up or a split screen if we desire to, uh, which is really nice. So I think that's a, just a really awesome thing that Samsung put in here. All right, so here is a really cool one for security purposes. So go into settings and then we can type in, you're gonna look for secure lock settings. So go to that secure lock settings and you can go ahead and turn on lockdown option. And then also, if you feel like somebody's trying to get into your phone or something like that, you can also turn on auto factory reset. So after 20 incorrect attempts to unlock your phone, it would be reset to factory default settings and all data basically will be erased. Uh, but you basically basically get a new option in power, power uh, the power uh, down mode. Uh, so basically I can't use my fingerprint scanner. I can only use, um, the password now. So I think that's pretty nice setting to have. And then you can see, now that I put my password in, now I can't like use my fingerprint. Just in case you feel like somebody might try to use your fingerprint <laughs> in your sleep or something like that, or, or whatever reason, right? All right, so for this last one, this is a must for anyone who plans on keeping their phone for you know the full life cycle. You want to protect the battery, guys. So go into settings here. And Samsung has it built right in, which is something I absolutely love. And then we're gonna go ahead and look for the, where am I at? Battery and device care. Click on battery. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on more battery settings. Um, this is so awesome. So 
turn this on and it'll be turned off by default. To extend the lifespan of your battery, limit the maximum charge to 85%. So basically this will keep the battery health of the phone uh, really good because it'll stop the charge at 85%. And you know how phones decrease in battery life over time. Um, this will definitely help that out so you will have really good battery health over the years uh, turning this on. So it's definitely uh, you know, a must turn on. So that is pretty much it guys. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought and I'll catch you guys in the next one.